there's a time in every boy's life where he has to venture out on his own and possibly find a dead body. There's no dead bodies. I'm just doing an abandoned explore. But there's train tracks nearby. Kind of made me feel like stand by me. Stephen King wrote that. Did you know that? Blew my mind. Hey, bunny, 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 bunny. There's two of them, actually. Come back. You guys look delicious. Whatever. <sighs> Just a, a wee little bit of land. Going for a lot of freaking money. Next to some train tracks. And they said, hey, urban developers. Basically, they're going to turn this into apartments. They're going to turn the neighborhood into some crappy, junky neighborhood with high-end apartments and a bunch of cairns. Really, you can't even buy land in Massachusetts anymore because what you would normally put a single house on, they want to put 30 apartments on it because they can make more money. So, good luck finding a house, right? All right, well, there is a little shack on the property. Let's go check that out. All right. In case you were wondering what a $1.8 million piece of property in Massachusetts looks like. Well, here's a good start. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who would pay $1.8 million for this? But, it is the land that they're selling, not just the house. But still. Oh, that doesn't look safe. Dude, there's a motorbike. I so want that. I'm going to dig it out and... Look at that. The seat's comfier than my bikes. I only got that cheap old little saddle seat. Alright, so I lied a little bit. That's just the shed. That's the, that's the house. But you know, still. If you need some uh, springs and doodads, well, I got them. You just let me know. Holy crap, there's a motorcycle in there too. There's a few of them in there. Well, I kind of want to buy this $1.8 million property just to find the bikes that are in here. You know, I'm gonna kick myself again because again I forgot my flashlight. So, there's a way in that way. Let's check to see if there's anything else. It's funny how there's a heat wave going on right now. The air coming out of that basement was just ice cold. All right, so look, we got another motorbike. Right there. Another motorbike. This guy's got motorbikes and ladders. Mm 
got the side door to a Chevy. Oh, need an extension ladder. Let's see what we got. We got Suzuki. Oh, that don't move. Yep. Yeah, I'm guessing the only way in is to the basement. That was a bit sketchy. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Never works that way. Alright, well, they said we found a dead body. I mean, you know, didn't have to be specific, did I? This is just crazy. Oh man, I am literally surfing on items. Oh jeez. Alright. And this is why I'm not a cat burglar. Because <laughs> I am not subtle. Oh man. Yeah, I wonder if there's a word for this kind of sewing machine. You know, a word that means it's old. It is desirable quality. I just can't think of the word. All right. Another one of those things that are old. Hmm, I just can't think of the word. Nothing written on the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, that's what this house is. A whole lot of bing bang clank clink and smash. That's a rod and reel right there. Look at that thing, huh? <sighs> Space Invaders. Can't read it. Pac Man. We've survived the uh, field of broken glass. Literally, everything glass was stacked there. You got your average basement. Oh, there's the shed thingy. Oh, these are the scooters I had when I was a kid. 
Got those new ones with the skateboard wheels. These are scooters. <laughs> okay, I am uh, I'm laughing <laughs> just because of the angle. <laughs> oh, please tell me you see this too. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> I just turned her off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. What the fuck is this? This is gonna be awesome. Oh. What is it? Oh my god, it, it's a it is a oh, it is balls. That's amazing. <laughs> Chill's gonna get banned for that. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> okay, I. <laughs> I can't. I can't. This is all. Oh, I have to take some pictures of this. Uh, that's the funniest thing I've ever found. Ever. So, uh. Okay, one more time, I'll just... I literally thought it was a doll with the baby's hand underneath it, but that's not... <laughs> I'm... Look, I'm childish. I know this. I know this. And I'm okay with it. <laughs> okay. Nothing's fair in fifth grade. No, it's not. Treehouse mysteries, so I got all these books. House is scary. Uh, I can hear the when the wind blows, it creaks. <laughs> it sounds like somebody's upstairs. <gasps> Holy crackers! Look at that. That's a wine press. I think I saw the bucket outside. Oh, that's such a cool ashtray. All right, so here we are. This kid's is a VCR. That's how I used to watch your movies. And if you didn't rewind it, you got in trouble. Oh, that is a tape deck right there. Oh, yeah, dude. Think of it as, um, you know how your phone has a million songs at the push of a button? This could have like up to 10, and it weighs like 20 pounds. So what are you doing here, huh? You hanging out? See, look at that old flashlight. So we got a flashlight, we got a tape music player, and we got a movie watcher. All that and more is now in the <laughs> in your hand, in your pocket. If only I had a calculator with it. We got in here. All doodads and knickknacks and things that nobody ever wants. Did you ever just want a whole bunch of key rings? Well, we got your key rings and your doodads and your what's its.
made in Italy. Look at that guy, huh? That must be Saint Foo Foo of Fifi or something. voicemail that too is in your phone <laughs> tapes TV themes Dallas oh I like when Debbie does Dallas that was a good movie we got sting you know because dragons are always cool said every guy that collects knives from cheap shops at the mall Giant checkerboard. Ugh. Oh, it's got all the pieces in it and everything. Or matches. We used to have those. Nobody has matches anymore. Oh, look at that. More dragons, huh? This guy was awesome. Almost as cool as the people that have skulls everywhere. It's the Ludder. Oh, the toilet. How oh, stinky this stuff is. Let's put you right there. Alright, It's a magical tripod, but it doesn't really work that well. Let's see. Not half bad. Nobody ever calls me. Suddenly I'm doing an explore and 15 fucking people call me. I think. Wow, that's 
some old shit. Look at that outfit, that is 80s. That's the doll that the kid that no one liked got because their parents were poor. Like, here honey, you have an ugly doll. But I want a Barbie. We can't afford Barbies because your dad's an alcoholic. You know, it's, it's stuff like that. Sega Genesis, Indiana Jones. Mickey Mouse Goofy. Oh, that's all. So we dealt with you next to the street. Flashy light. Nothing up here. Just creepy noises and the smell of animal pee. Looks like everything in the attic is down here. What is this? An Avon gift collection. Ooh. In case you've ever wanted a, a gift from Avon. Halloween stuff. Birthday Decorations. Texans watching that going, you go in, little bugger. Oh, Jesus. I found the poop drawer. That's the, that's the poop drawer. Alright, I gotta just see what's in this trunk again before we go. Better than porn. This kid's 
is a head cleaner. <laughs> yeah, that's the cleaner. It's the cleaning VCR. But uh, they, they, they use heads. And uh, as kids, we used to call the head cleaner, um, you know, a mouth hug. You, you gotta be amateur to, to enjoy this sort of stuff, you know? All right, who needs, oh, you need a guardrail for your, for your fancy schmancy old car? There you go. Oh, Bermuda. I would never want to go to Bermuda. Not only for the ethical reasons, because the, you know, you keep people in poverty, but it's also because it's freaking hot. More Bermuda. I kind of want to see what's inside some of those trunks here, but I don't want to be next to the window. It is a cool truck. I'll give you that much. Oh wow, Bob Dylan's greatest hits on stereotape. This is also something that if you grew up in the 80s, this was the prelude to the cassette tape. My father had a reel to reel and there's still audio of us talking on them. That's pretty cool. As a giant triple action fanny pack. Wow. Oh. Allen wrenches. Uh, a doohickey uh, that I, I don't know what does. But I'm pretty sure it's awesome. doohickey that, um, I don't know, if you're immature you'd call it a ancient butt plug, but, uh, percussion caps, what is this? <clears throat> if I can open it, it doesn't seem like it's going to. Okay, so that's the percussion cap. Those are the little things that go pow. So I'm guessing this is some sort of thing where you put that in there and then checks the measurement and then you put that in there and then you go pow and it measures something. That's my guess. What it measures, I don't know. I'm not smart. But that's pretty cool. But, you know. Percussion caps made by Remington, who also make bullets. Don't leave home with a bunch of Human scent camo. Oh, this is his deer hunting stuff. That's what this is. This is 
Oh, that's what that is. All right. Okay, so that's, this is for a muzzle loader. So I think, yeah, oh, I was right. That's black powder. You take your thing, you fill up your gun. Oh, now I know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe, there's your, your tapper. And you tap down all your, into the barrel of the gun, all your black powder. There's your blasting cap. There is your, your wad. What not? And that's it. That was last. Here we go. Here's your lead ball. That is for a muzzle-loaded uh, single-shot firearm for hunting. Yes, it's still used today, and they're rather interesting. This one is for a musket ball, but uh, there's also ones that actually look like a bullet. If you kind of make look out, but that's awesome. That's actually that's really cool. And the rest of the stuff is just as hunting stuff. That's why the. Acorn scent in case you ever want to smell like an acorn. It's probably some of you out there going, How could you shoot a deer? Why would you shoot a deer? Why don't you just go to the grocery store and get meat where they make it? And that's, um, that's why in the apocalypse, you're gonna die. If you don't know how to hunt, you're useless. Oh my god. That's uh, Prince Charles and Diane. At least I think they're ugly, so I'm assuming that's who that is. In case uh, the deer gores you, you got you know, your tourniquet. You, think you always need this stuff. So, I gotta say, that's pretty fucking rad. And I'm pretty sure that most of this audience doesn't care. Visible woman. Boots. Oh, what do we got here? I can't. Well, it's a photography books. I saw those old cameras down in the basement. They must have been into it. Ah. Light and film. Ooh. And as you pointed out, cord conveniently tucked in the back, which they don't do anymore for things, right? And my face, because I had to turn it. Look who showed up! Yeah. Look who told me about the place. Mm -hmm. I'm not good enough to find it on my own. I got skills, yo. Yeah, because you've been finding like tons of places lately. Yeah, Look well, this turtle. Well, I gotta learn not to like text you when I'm at a place because then my phone blows up. Is that a toilet paper holder? Uh, no, I don't know what that is. Is it? All right. So 
we've been uh, exploring. We found this uh, suitcase, and we've been going through it. It's been crazy, and I realized I haven't had my camera on the entire time. But, I mean, look at this. Yeah, I'm sure glad I found it with my keen eye. <laughs> All these patches. And... I mean, there's the this dude and his bayonet. And then to That's make weird, it I have this watch. I got it at Savers and I was going to sell There's it. the bayonet. How awesome is that? That's a real thing. But it's, it's like a diamond ship. I shall name him Dustin. Dustin Diamond. Too soon, man. Too soon. Paragon Park. Oh, there's a picture of his, uh, his girlfriend right there. Nantasket Beach. World's largest roller coaster. Oh, check it out. We got, we got funny money. You got like a ch Japanese yen. No, that's not yen. Or is it a ruble? That is a. I don't know. A mark. That's a milli franc. Is that a um? Not a trust. Uh, um. Could be like a war a, ration or. It a, could be. Oh, yeah, a war bond. bond. A war That's bond. what I mean. A war savings bond. Support your troops and buy a war bond, which you'll never make any money from. I think some people did it for cash them early. Photographs. Let's do this. Let me get to see what the hell I'm doing. These kids are probably dead. Oh, man. Oh, that's not real. One peso. It's a peso. It looks like a dollar. It actually looks like one of those things that you'd get from like the religious people as a tip. Where you open it up, it's like a twenty dollar bill, and then you open it up, it's like a, hey, have you found Jesus? It's like, yeah, I did, inside of a trunk in an abandoned home. Uno peso. Probably not good to be touching this with all my sweaty hands. Everybody be jealous of my Muppet Magazine school folder. This is the United States Coast Guard. That's his ID. There he is. Gonna... Oh, there he is. Goodness. This is an electric razor without the electric. That is super old. Wow. Probably gave you a better shave than an electric. I was going to say. Baby butt smooth. Just move some stuff around. I can't. It's like wedged with these bed frames. Oh, this is like one of those pocket watch things. Yeah, look at that. It's like a table watch. Travel watch. When he's traveling. Oh, look at this. Look at these shears. Wow, those are freaking cool. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. Money. Yeah, there's no money. All these, like. What are those pens? Get those pens immediately. I like them. But they're probably all like, I like Ike. <laughs> That's exactly what those are. I'm a McGovern supporter. I guarantee you one of those is I like Ike. Oh, it's one of those binoculars. It pops up. It pops up into binoculars. Yeah, you press the button. See? I have those. I have pop up binoculars. Do they work? Uh, it's like using my, my regular vision is actually better. Oh, it's to see Haley's. Oh, that's the one they gave out to see Haley's Comet. It looks like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Johnny Five. It does look like Johnny or Wally. It's well, then they got Wally from Johnny yeah. Five. So, uh, yeah. so these are the binoculars they gave out in 1985 86. Bye, Felicia. To see Haley's Comet, which is kind of ridiculous because these are not high power enough. To really get a good enough look at Haley's comment. But that's what they gave out. 
for people to at least see a dot in the sky that was Halley's Comet. You gotta have the JFK. Everybody had the JFK. What is this? Clear view of Government Center. Oh, they just fixed Government Center. Oh, shoot. That's awesome. I don't know what from here, but I mean, obviously, that's a long time ago because. That's pre Big Dig. <laughs> yep. This is... Yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot I didn't have a. Oh, hold on. That's getting the crap out of me, too. Wait, what is this JFK thing? Uh, everybody back in the 50s had a JFK in their wall. Are you kidding me? I did not know that. That's just, my... like, just like they all have a Trump or Obama thing on their wall. That, that. Was... That's my uncle's birthday. Oh, there we go. That's, that's for me. Because he always remembers. the uh, Iwo Jima. He always remembers. JFK. Have you ever heard the story of Clint Eastwood? In Iwo Jima? Uh, yeah, he was a guy who was in a movie. He said, do you feel lucky, punk? Yeah, but, but his involvement with Iwo Jima. He, it's a, it's a oh, cool no. story. Oh, do they have like the Kentucky Derby? Patekel. Pit Patekas. Oh, I wonder if this is at, uh, um... What's it called? Uh, uh, Rockingham. Oh, yeah. Oh, this would be Suffolk Down, because yeah, a lot of this stuff is from Dorchester. Best punch. I would oh, vote sorry. on that one. Not vote, but I would bet on that one. What is that, a co copy of the Constitution that you just found? There it is. There's that missing Constitution, that would be Declaration of Independence. Yeah. Several copies. You know, John Hancock wrote them himself. Oh. And Ben Franklin, when he became president, he uh, rewrote the uh, book. You can't say, that's offensive now. You can't say that anymore. What? It's a girl. <laughs> ben Franklin? Oh, it's a girl. Yeah. You can't be gender specific. I was like, I don't even know what you're talking like, yeah. Ben Franklin's a girl? What the hell are you talking about? Oh my about? god, this never ends. Oh, this is a great little find. Are you kidding me? I'm going to run out of battery soon. Me too. I just want to find that naked pictures of his wife. What's she hot? There we go. Is she in one of those risque swimsuits that's totally oh, no, not? No, it's a guy fishing. Oh. I like fishing. It's the only time when you can check, check out another guy and be like, hey, nice rod. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Probably like, in my fishing pole is nice too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a fishing rod downstairs, like a big uh, uh, ocean one. Oh, there's something cool under there. Oh, look, it's the only thing that rhymes with uh, syringe or orange. Dorange. Dorange. Yep. Yep. I always wanted to invent something and name it like Porridge and say just to, oh wait, there's something metal you just missed. There's metal in there. No, it's under all that. Under what all that. What are you talking about? It was something like, oh, it's just this. The pocket watch back Jesus, in. Bob, stay in your lane. This is my lane and it's boring. Oh, look, it's got a little lock on there. Oh, look at that. Um, what, happy, how much did they get, what, how much did this cheapo give them? 50, 70 cents. What a cheapo. 70 cents, man, you know? Let me get a picture of that. That is amazing. And you're not supposed to send coins through the mail. This probably cost a pretty penny. It probably cost 70 cents to mail this thing. Oh, 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 they did it again. They did it again. Oh. And the person never even spent them. Oh, they quit. Good health. Good. That's when you know well, grandma was cheap. She only gave you a couple cents. I wonder what the um, what the rate, what the rate that is now. Oh, that's May twelve seventy four. That's May twelve seventy five. And this little weirdo didn't even cash in on that. Can't see what date that is, but. That's as exciting as it gets. Gotta stay by that room. But yeah, pretty cool explore. Just a $1.8 million property. You know, high quality ceilings. It's a lovely ranch with some retro equipment. Totally worth $1.8 million in Massachusetts. The land, eh. But, thanks for watching.